Got the Um Nitsa TRD Pro Toyota knockoff grill. Thing is pretty nice. Pretty solid. When you first get it, you gotta install that Toyota logo. It's just five bolts on the back or five screws. And maybe if I can count right, it's four screws. Came with five, so you had an extra one. But you basically just screw this guy in here, that guy there, that one, that one. Done deal. And then the lights are real easy. They got four clips on them. They just pop in wherever you want. So you can either pop them in in the top three like everybody else, or if you want it to be different, you can uh, pop them in in any of these other spots there. But after you got that put together, looks pretty nice. So next thing you got to do is pop your hood, obviously, and then you got a bunch of bolts you have to remove. So we got what's this? Three, six, nine. Got ten of these bolts. That's ten millimeter. And you got two of these that are also ten millimeter. These two come off the hood latch so when you're looking at this from here right upside down because why not this is on here those two come out of there and then the all the other ones came out of all the way along there then I'm assuming the next piece is all the little pop rivets that came with it or whatever you call them they just like pop in you're gonna have to break them but i want to say there's a handful across there i already popped one out So here's the stock one next to the new one I'm replacing it with. All right, so it's always good to pay attention to what you have. I usually don't just start installing and then realize that uh, something went in wrong. But you'll notice you've got two that are not like the others. Yeah, so these two are going to go on the far sides. And as you can see, when I pop this one off, those broke. All the others stayed intact, but the ones on the end broke. Okay, so now when looking at the vehicle, these guys, when you pop it into the grill, should be left to right. Horizontal, not vertical, because if you look at the hole itself, when you gotta put it in. That's the only way it's gonna fit. If you pop it in the other way, it's not gonna fit. So when you install that onto the grill. All right, so I got uh, most everything on here now. Uh, you also have six of these bad boys you gotta slide on there. You can see they're on there except for this one on the end. Literally, you just put that on the back side, flat side on the front, and they just slide in real easy. I'm having a little difficulty getting these suckers on the side in there. You can see it doesn't want to go in. And it almost feels like I'm being plastic. I don't want to break it, but the harder I push, I'm getting nervous about that uh, mount there. It looks like it's gusseted pretty good, but it's being a pain. All right, scratch that, figure it out, it's pretty easy. There's enough space behind there, you can stick your finger down under, underneath and right in front, and then you can push and much easier that way. And don't forget your rubber piece. They sent one that looks pretty much exactly like factory. Here's the stock one that I just took off. And as you can see, it's almost identical, or is identical match. And mine's a 2013, so you can see mine's just peeling. It's, most of it's already broken off. The 
is looking tacky. So this you'll install the same on the new one. It's just 3M adhesive tape. Peel the red piece off and you can see I peeled a little bit off, stuck it on there, working my way along, peeling it off as I go. Well, I guess the strip they gave you is a little bit longer. I mean, if you look at this is a stock one again. Factory, whatever you want to call it. Started there, went all the way across. You have the exact same amount on the other side. So I started it all the way at the end. You can see all the way at the end went around. But as I get over here, I got quite a bit extra I'm going to have to cut off. No big deal. Good thing you can't see this, my OCD would kill me with that being off. <laughs> Alright, now that this is all pieced together, let's see if we can do this without breaking it. in there. Ten millimeter. Yeah, it's in there. It sucks. All the bullets. The bullets. But as you will see, two of the bolts go right there. But there's a uh, screws in there that's holding that middle piece on there right now, so I'm gonna have to pop two on each side out real quick. That's a nice facelift. Some Botox for the Sequoia. Man, bad news. Now I have to save up and buy some freaking headlights to go with it. Stock ones don't look bad, but 